Hey everyone, this is Larry with Today I Feel Like. As photographers, sometimes we need flashlights in our gear bag because sometimes we're out shooting in places that are just very dark or we're shooting in theaters or we just need to have a way that we can look around inside of our gear bag. But whatever it is, sometimes you need a flashlight that has a little bit more versatility than a traditional light and that is where the Brynite HL18 Noctua headlamp flashlight is going to come in handy. So let's go ahead, unbox it, take a look at it and try it out. And I have two of them, which means I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So let's jump into it and here we go. All right, let's start off by just taking a quick look around this box so we can see if they give us any specs about the light and then we will open it up. We can see right here, it says Brynite HL18 Noctua. And this has, it has more than 90 degree adjustable. This is a more than 90 degree adjustable headlamp. So we can get an idea of how this is going to adjust right there. Uh, on this side, little branding, that side, nothing, little branding, little branding. On the back side here, it says find out more. So there's a QR code that we can go to, to learn more about the light. So we may have to visit that QR uh, code and check it out if we don't see any more information inside of the package. So, all right. Let's go ahead and uh, and cut through this tape here so that we can uh, so that we can actually get this thing opened up. And let's see, I don't want to cut the box. I just want to cut the tape. And I think that should do it. Ooh, did I get it? I think I may have. Uh, it's a very thick box there. There we go. All right. Let's uh, let's pull this open here. And look at this. Here it is. This is the light right there. We can see it comes with that 90 degree angle already. And we see it has this little uh, part right here for the head strap, uh, for the head mount. So this is uh, this is going to be all part of the head strap right there. And it um, it looks like from here it's very easy to uh, to pop this out. And now you have just a regular flashlight that you can use at an angle there if you have if you need it for like a work light or if you want to use it as a traditional light, just straightforward or anywhere in between there. It's going to allow you to do that. So. Very, very nice. I like that. It looks like this is going to have, um, it looks like a magnetic charging uh, connection right there. So that's interesting. Um, again, this is going to be uh, part of the head strap here. This is adjustable, as you can see. You can adjust that in various angles if you want to use this as a head strap. Um, and let's see, let's see if we can get this thing popped in there. I think this goes right in there. Oh yeah, it has a little cutouts actually, so it's easy to fit in there if you're paying attention. So, all right, let's see what else we have in the box here with it. And it looks like we are going to get a few things. So it looks like uh, one, we are going to get some extra gaskets here so we, uh, we can use those if they are needed. We are going to get a USB-A to a uh, magnetic charger. So this is going to, uh, this is going to fit right there so that you can actually get this charged up. So there's that. We are also going to get, uh, oh, this is an empty container because the battery is actually already inside. It's going to be an 18650 battery. So we can, um, we can go ahead and take this out. There's probably a little piece of paper in between the battery and the connection to keep it from discharging. Yep, there it is. And this is going to be the battery right here. It's going to be a 3100 milliamp hour battery. And again, this is the 18650 battery. So we can go ahead, pop that in there and we can uh, tighten that down to, uh, to get that going. And we'll go ahead, we'll take the, we'll take the uh, head strap off there. There we go. And now when we want to turn this on, we can push the little power button right there. And there you go. You can see that it starts to turn on and we can adjust uh, by pushing that button. We can push it and hold it and we'll see there it starts to cycle through the different levels of brightness. And yeah, so, and we can double tap it to get into like a turbo mode there. So yeah, we can, uh, we can go all the way from the, from the brightest to the dimmest by just simply holding it down and then we can let it go and turn the light off. So very nice. We also do have here a belt clip so that, um, that you can have that on there. And this belt clip is removable. So if you want to take that off, you can just snap that off right there. But you may have noticed even with the, uh, the belt clip on there, and we'll put that on there, it does still fit into the head strap. So you don't have to worry about taking the belt clip off to put it on the head strap and then trying to remember where everything is. You can keep everything on the light itself. So and you can even see right here, there's a little form fitting part for 
the belt clip right there so that you can leave it on. So, all right, we'll leave that there for the second, for a moment. And then here is the head strap right there that you're going to use to fit into this area right here. It's gonna go, uh, you'll just fit them right in there and then you can make the adjustments so that um, so that we can get this on. You can wear it as a, as a head strap. Let me see if I can actually uh, fit this in there fairly easily. Oh yeah, I may have to read the instructions to get it in. Now, uh, honestly, I rarely, rarely use headlamps like headlamps. I do sometimes when I'm out walking and I wanna have it there, but oftentimes I like lights like this that are sort of dual purpose because it then allows me to be able to have a headlamp when I need it if I'm out somewhere where I need to be hands-free or, or I'm going camping or something like that or hiking, I can have a headlamp and be hands-free. But if I need a traditional flashlight, I don't have to carry a second light to have that traditional flashlight as well. So, all right. Now that we have this thing here, we have the battery uh, set up, ready to go. It's not quite dark yet, so once it gets dark, let's go ahead outside, test this thing out, and see how it performs. All right, it's dark now. Let's go ahead and test this out. And there we have my buddy LD. I call him LDZ. He is in the interrogation seat right now. And as we can see, this light is very, very bright. And this is pretty much at a low setting. Let's go ahead and, and move it up a little bit. And there we go, that's the next brightness level. As we can see, it's also very, very bright. So we'll go ahead and uh, move it, uh, oops, that turned that off. Let's go ahead and move it a little bit brighter. And again, very, very bright. So we'll hold it again a little bit, and there you go, look at that. That is just insane how bright that is. And then we'll hold it there, we'll take this back down. We can hold it and cycle through the different levels of brightness, and we can even double tap and let's see, we'll double tap, and that's gonna put us in turbo mode, which is gonna be really extraordinarily bright. So I'm not sure how many lumens this is. I'm gonna to have to look it up and see, but I can tell you one thing, it gets very, very bright. So, and you turn it off, you can see how dark it is, and then there you go. And again, you hold it, and uh, you hold the light, the, the uh, power button, and it sort of cycles through. Oops, let me get this going. And there we go. Now we can cycle it through the different brightness levels. So, yeah. There it is, that is the HL18 Noctua. Well, as we can tell, it is pretty dark outside here, so let's go ahead and turn the light on. This is supposed to have a 308 meter throw, and look how bright that is all the way across the street. I can go ahead and really see how far that thing throws. It is really kind of crazy. I can take it all the way down the street. Look how far that goes, my goodness. That's all the way down the block how far that is. This thing is nuts how bright it is. That is absolutely fantastic. Let's cycle through a little bit so we can see that it goes even brighter. Now that's the dim mode right there. And then we can go and, and bring it up a little bit. That's sort of a medium mode. That's brighter. That's nice and bright. And then we're gonna go into turbo mode. Let's see if we can throw that in turbo mode. Look at that. That is just crazy, and it's a nice wide throw too, so you really light up the entire area. And let me just turn it off so you can get a, a quick reference point. Boom, just pretty much pitch black. This is an amazing light, it really is. All right, a few things I wanna go over before we get out of here, and if you were wondering like, my gosh, why is that light so bright? Well, that's because it has 1600 lumens of output. That is really, really incredible. It also has a beam distance of 308 meters, and this thing is just really, really cool. Now, there are a few things that I really like about it and I don't like about it. One of them is, is that I like is that I love this adjustable, uh, the adjustable head. I love that you can adjust this thing 90 degrees so that you can use it as a regular flashlight or a work light or a headlamp, however you wanna use it. I also like that the headlamp is very adjustable so you can adjust this thing way, way up or way, way down or straight forward or anywhere in between. It is very, very nice like that. One thing that I don't like about it is, I think it's a little bit heavy for a headlamp. Now, if you're using this in a sense where you're working and you're not really moving too much, you're just sort of like going from left to right, looking up and down, maybe you're working on a car or something and you wanna be able to see into the engine compartment, something like this I think would work nicely. I wouldn't use this as a headlamp that you go and work out with. Like I wouldn't take this jogging, it just wouldn't work. 
I'm not sure if I'd even take this hiking because just like this, it, it bounces around a lot. So I can imagine if you're walking, you're on uneven surfaces and you're moving around quite a bit, I think it might move a little bit too much and, and you would have to strap it pretty tightly to your head to make it not bounce like that, which may cause you a little bit of discomfort if you have it strapped too tight. But I think as an overall, just nice EDC light that will give you a, a regular everyday flashlight and a headlamp, I think this thing is absolutely perfect for that. So yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong. I think of it as a flashlight that doubles as a headlamp, not so much as a headlamp that doubles as a flashlight, but you could think of it however you need to. So yeah, um, there are some other modes on here. You can run this thing for like 120 hours if you're at down to 10 lumens. I actually didn't get to the 10 lumen mode. There's also a strobe mode on there, which I didn't show because there's some people that have um, issues with seizures that I didn't want to set off by showing the strobe mode. So, um, but you do have that on here as well. So yeah. Anyways, there you go. I'm gonna, uh, I'll am gonna. i leave a link to this uh, to this headlamp down below in the video description if you're interested. I'll also leave links to my Amazon page, my social media contacts, so you can reach me elsewhere. But before we really get out of here, I need to tell you how you can win this light. To be entered to win, all you have to do is tell me the first place where you went camping. That's it. Tell me the first place that you went camping, and if you've never been camping, tell me the first place you would like to go camping. That's it, and you'll be entered to win. So just leave that for me down in the comment section. Leave a comment. I'll pick a winner in about a week or so after this video post, and I'll reach out and tell whoever won, who won, and then you have a week to get back to me. Now, as with all of my giveaways, you have to have a US shipping address because I will only ship in the US. Now, I don't care if you live outside of the US as long as you have a US shipping address that I can ship your prize to. So there you go. Anyways, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.